Okay, hello, welcome. Dean here again from groundbreakcreative.com. Today we are looking at the Uniball VP Junior volume pedal. Obviously, that's what VP stands for. Go figure. This is made apparently out of an aircraft grade aluminium, which is uh, great because uh, it looks kind of thin on top. Um, so they say it is just about indestructible. Uh, comment below if you've broken one. Uh, that would be interesting to hear. But it's a, it's a nice volume pedal. It flows quite smoothly. It's not all rigid and um, stiff like some of them. It's, it's got kind of this cool design. Being junior, you kind of think that uh, it's going to be like a mini pedal, like it's going to be small. It's really not that much smaller than any other volume pedal, to be honest. Uh, I don't know why they call it a junior. Maybe it's slightly smaller, but you can see... I'm not going to put it right on my telly, but you can see it's still a reasonable size. Um, so you're going to need, still need the same amount of real estate really on your pedal board to fit it. Uh, on the back here, we've got really basic in and out. Uh, there's no powering up of this one. Uh, this is the 250k mono. There's a couple of different versions of this. Uh, so this one they, is a passive pedal uh, that they say is better for use with passive instruments, such as the Telecaster. Um, there is a stereo version that they say is better for active. Uh, so you can apparently also use um, some of the versions to pan between um, like different amps. If you're running a stereo system with two different amps, you can hook this in as a pan to left and right. Uh, this version doesn't do that. This is just a volume pedal, this one. Uh, so this is quite reasonably priced. Uh, between 80 and 100 US, depending on where you go, what day of the week it is. Um, here in New Zealand, it's about 160 bucks. Cool. Uh, yeah, so on here, in and out, real simple. Tuner out, that's a handy little feature. It means you can just whack your tuner out of here. Uh, so instead of having to have it in line, you can just have it there, it runs all the time. If you want to tune, you can whack your volume off and tune, um, which I find really handy, just not having to switch the tuner on and off when you want it. Just use the volume pedal. Okay, uh, so here's where it gets inter interesting. Trying to see if we can see inside. I don't know if you can really see that but see that moving backwards and forwards that's like a string and a spring so there's like a string there you can see this is the end of the string that like goes around a roller and then it attaches to a spring and then there's more string and then down that end Try and get the right angle for you here. I don't know if you can see where it's rolled around there, around a volume pot. So basically this is a piece of string turning a volume pot. So it's pretty much uh, one of these bad boys here, uh, except you can control it with your foot. Uh, so, because this is no good really when you're trying to do swells and you're trying to play at the same time it gets awkward right so um yeah so it is it is handy but yeah literally like a piece of string turning a volume pot uh with aircraft grade aluminium though uh it's got a little this little micro switch in here that there's no way you're going to see that but on the back of here there's this little micro switch i don't know why I care that it's micro switch, it's a switch that's real little, uh, which changes, um, basically it adds a boost before you swell um, to make it sound more gradual. I don't have it on, uh, yeah, I don't use it, 
but it's an extra thing to play with. So what we're doing today is we'll just listen to a standard setup on the pedal board uh, and we're going to have a quick look at this Tone Suck uh, Concept 2. We'll have a look at that at the end of the video. Um, but now let's get this back on the board, see where it fits and have a listen. Alright, so uh, where I have this on my board, uh, I have it right here in the middle. Um, and the reason for that is I have it after my overdrives, which means I can use it to cut off my overdrives. Um, and I have it before my delay and my reverb, which means that I leave trails behind when I'm turning my volume off, so instead of killing the trail off it lets the trail continue after the pedal comes off, which is handy when you're doing swells, etc. Um, and also the other feature we talked about was this tuner out. So I have my Polytune Mini here, which I have running all the time. Um, so I don't have to worry about turning that on and off, it's there ready to go and if I want to tune I simply whack the volume pedal off and I'm good to go. Cool, so let's see what it sounds like. Okay, uh, so another quick little experiment. Um, one of the things I've seen with this pedal is that there's a modification uh, that you can get for it for avoiding tone suck. Uh, that's not something that I've noticed. I tend to get pretty good tone um, out of all my gear because uh, that's what I aim to do. Uh, that's why I got the gear that I've got. Um, because nobody wants sucky tone. Uh, but of, of course when they're talking about sound tuck, sound tuck, um, if they're talking about sound tuck they don't know what they're talking about. 
Tone suck, if they're talking about tone suck, uh, they're talking about basically uh, the pedal taking tone away from the guitar. So at the moment I've got the pedal full on, uh, all my other pedals are off. Uh, I'll play a quick little something and then I'll unplug and plug straight into the amp, see if there's any difference. Okay, uh, sounds pretty good to me. Uh, in the video, I'll cut that so that we can run them straight back to back, and then we will we will see how it sounds. Uh, but yeah, like I say, playing live and stuff, I don't experience a, a lack of tone. Um, that's for sure. Normally, I use a much better amp than this one, though. Uh, this is just one that is a bit easier to move, um, so I can bring it home. Uh, cool. But that is an overview of the uh, VP Junior by Ernie Ball. I hope this video has helped you out. Remember to hit like and subscribe and we will see you in the next video.